Hi everybody and welcome back. By now you would know I've lost my drone. So today I'm actually going to see if for some chance it's actually dropped out of the tree. It's landed on top of the probably the most tallest tree that I could have um, had the thing land in and um, I'm going to see if I can get it back down uh, somehow. Now I don't know, I'm hoping just fingers crossed that the wind and rain it may have dislodged and uh, it's come down I sort of know whereabouts it is um, location wise but I don't know which tree is it in so I've bought my binoculars to see if I can find it up in the tree or even better it may have fallen down so come along and let's see how I go out and I think I think it's up there now I'm just I'm just scanning the ground because you, you never know I'm just having a look but I'm gonna get the binoculars out and I'm gonna see if I can find it all right let's see Oh my god, you wouldn't believe this. I'm not shitting you. I am not shitting you. I think I've just found it. Oh my god, I found it. I found it. Look. Oh man. Okay, she's a little bit worse for wear and I don't know what the deal is here because, oh this is, <laughs> yep, she's had a bit of a, um, it's actually intact and the best thing about it is my memory card's in there and um, wow, okay. So I don't know what the deal is. So I got a replacement, would you believe? And, it, and I had insurance on this. And um, just so you all know, when you buy one of these, I suggest you get insurance because I can't remember what it cost me. But to replace it, I end up paying $350 to get a new drone. So now I probably need... Now this is... It's actually... As you can see, it's... Uh, a bit of water in it I, I don't think that really I don't know I'm not sure but I'm gonna contact DGI um, on uh, during the week and see what the deal is because now that I found it um, don't know what that does to my policy I can't believe it everybody um, I found it I can't believe it Wow happy days as they say 
All right, well, there she is, my drone. Well, let's, uh, let's see what happens the next uh, process. I will keep you posted. Um, so, I feel a bit better now, so let me talk to you. Um, I, I sort of mentioned about um, the bike and um, how it is and the tyres and that. So let me, let me just relax a little bit get my excitement down and uh, talk to you about the CF Moto 800 MT. So what have I done to the bike so far? So I've done about, I don't know, 1500 Ks. So I've added some additional uh, crash bars because I need it. <laughs> uh, little toolbox here. This um, just keeps, I had to modify it because it was actually, uh, when I got it, it was set up for uh, a BMW GS. So. I modified it um, and it fits fits really well these tires I'm running these uh, uh, Moto Oz uh, tractionators at full pressure so I've got around about 39 at the back which I know is high and about 32 on the front and awesome 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 tires uh, this is really slippery stuff you can see here it's, it's clay and the bikes, um, the tyres are really gripping on well. What else have I done to the bike? Um, I've got some little headlight protectors, spotlight protectors, radiator guard. I've taken off the uh, rubber uh, mounts off the uh, off the pegs, which is really good. I've got this little bag here. Um, it's actually quite good. Put all your little goodies in there: tyre pressure monitors, charging cables, all of the all of the necess necessities. Um, yeah, the bike's really good. I mean, it handles really well. Um, I, I really don't have any complaints. Oh, oh, and the other thing I put on there was the aftermarket exhaust. As you know, I've got a big cruiser, and I enjoy that. I love it. Um, this is really just uh, for me to get out in the, in, the, in the bush a bit and just clear my head. Uh, a lot of shit's been going down lately, and... You know, it's good therapy for me to do that. Um, I love this sort of type of area. As you can see, it's really nice. It's in my backyard. Uh, it's called Telangity, just near King Lake in Victoria. It's a really beautiful spot. And uh, great riding tracks around here. Now, I could continue on a little bit further down, um, but today wasn't about that. Today was about looking for this drone. And... Uh, can't believe it's been found so uh, happy days as I say so I've crept on a little bit too much about that but I'm stoked I can't believe it um, can't believe that nobody actually found it but it was tucked away in the in the shrubs there and um, yeah um, I think I might just little continue on a little bit more down there and see what uh, what I can find so thank you very much thanks for watching please subscribe click the button it doesn't cost you anything. It helps me a lot. Um, I'm an embryo in the YouTube world. There are so many other people. I just put stuff up that I think is fun. And um, it's something that I do that I really enjoy. And I hope you guys too. So thank you. And see you on the next video.